Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a king and queen who had longed for a child for many years. Their wish was finally granted when they gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. We're going to have a baby! Our dream is coming true! To celebrate her birth, they threw a grand feast and invited all the fairies in the kingdom, except for one who had been overlooked. At the feast, each fairy bestowed a special gift upon the baby princess. They granted her beauty, grace, and other wonderful qualities. Just as the last fairy was about to give her gift, We bless this child with beauty and grace. Beauty beyond compare. The gift of song. A loving heart. Grace in all you do. The overlooked fairy, who had been offended by the snub, entered the palace. In her anger, she cursed the baby princess, saying that on her 60th birthday, she would prick her finger on a spindle and die. No invitation for me? They'll regret this. Fortunately, a good fairy who had not yet given her gift stepped forward, and although she couldn't completely undo the curse, she softened it. Instead of dying, the princess would fall into a deep sleep for a hundred years until a prince came to awaken her with a kiss. In an attempt to prevent the curse from coming true, the king and queen banned all spindles from the kingdom. Despite their efforts, on the princess's 16th birthday, she discovered an old woman spinning in a hidden room of the castle. What's in here? Curious, she approached the spindle and pricked her finger. Instantly, she fell into a deep sleep, and the entire kingdom fell asleep with her. A thick forest of thorns grew up around the castle, hiding it from view. Many brave princes attempted to reach the castle, but were thwarted by the thorns. Over the years, the castle and the story of the sleeping princess became the stuff of legend. I can't get through. I won't give up. One day, a hundred years later, a young prince heard the tale of the sleeping beauty and was determined to find her. With the help of the good fairy, he made his way through the thorny forest and reached the castle. I must press on. Follow your heart and you shall succeed. Inside, he found the entire court asleep, frozen in time. When he reached the princess, he was so struck by her beauty that he leaned down and kissed her. Who are you? I'm the one who woke you. The kiss broke the curse, and the princess awoke. She looked into the prince's eyes, and they fell deeply in love. The entire kingdom also woke from its century-long slumber, and there was great rejoicing and celebration. The prince and the princess were married, and they lived happily ever after.